Hey guys, I'm gonna try to get some commentary during this workout. Really don't have too much that's interesting other than perhaps the block pull. That will be at the end of the workout. But I have a pull plus snatch plus balance. And then I'm gonna do some clean and push press. And then the uh, essentially a clean pull or clean deadlift from a um, high block, which will either be at the knee or right above the knee. So I just wanna feel some heavyweight in my hand because I haven't felt some super, super heavyweight in the hand. So hopefully that's exciting. But um, I'll try to do different updates throughout the workout. So you can see uh, some of the warm ups to my um, pop set. I'm gonna work to some sort of max and see how my body feels. My legs are sore, but um, we'll see how, how they perform. So let's get to it. So snatches ended up going really well. Uh, I tried 220 at the most and I was able to hit a PR for the complex to so the pull snatch and the uh, snatch balance. I failed 205 twice, but it was, um, the first one was definitely just from being early and the second one, the bar is just shaking on my shoulders. I actually caught it in a decent spot, obviously not good enough to squat it up, but um, technique wise I felt good on that one. Um, and when, since uh, the third one was successful on that, that one felt good, I decided to go up to try 220. And I was just gonna make that one attempt and I was able to get it, which was really good. Um, then did some cleans of push presses. My legs are very tired and tight, especially my quad tendons from the, all the stuff I've done earlier this week. So they were not happy about doing the cleans and uh, didn't really have much on the push presses, but I was able to hit 225. And I tried 245, but I just didn't have enough in me, whether it was legs or shoulders or both. But uh, I was able to power clean it, which is good. Um, the best power clean is still 265. So now I'm to do a heavy pull. Uh, probably end up just being a block pull and not like a uh, clean pull pull. So I'm gonna use metal plates. We'll see how they feel. I don't know what I'll go to today. I'm hoping for you know mid 500s, uh, but you know all depends on how my back feels. So we'll see. They're pretty high, uh, pretty close to my knee. Plus I got shoes on, which makes them easier. So I'm gonna get this done. Nick likes to use this to record some of his lifts. So I'll let him get to that and get to my pulls. I'll be sure to record the uh, behavior sets. But talk to y'all in a sec. Ball pulls actually went pretty well. Uh, when I did 455, it felt like complete garbage. It was weird. My butt felt really weak, so it was very shaky when I first started to pull it, but then the lockout's always easy, because that's a huge strength of mine. Um, so then I tried 505, and that went much better, and then uh, 555, and that went well uh, too. The biggest thing that was weird with them is how long it took to get off the mat. 
And uh, I think that's something that just as I do them more, and I, I do want to add them in, because I think that's good to overload that part of the motion. So I think that's why my hips got ached before, it's just they got a little bit weak, and it's just a good posterior chain movement. And it's something, since I started weightlifting, I haven't pushed up enough. And uh, I think it's just good to work on my strength still, even though, you know, I pull plenty for the weightlifting movement so far. I think it's good to keep those strong and um, keep my hips and my butt and my back and everything as strong as it can be. But I'll probably add those in once a week or so. And um, now everything's not really focused on volume. So I'm I my battery crapped out, but essentially I was just finishing up saying I, I plan to add those in. And once I get to another volume uh, block where I'm doing a lot more reps and everything, I do want to add those in. I'll just have to be more strategic with them since they probably will beat me up a lot more than obviously doing a heavy single without the eccentric. Not really focused on hitting that at all now, as you notice, I just dropped it from the top, uh, essentially. So um, once I hit the heavy volume block, then hopefully those get pushed up, and uh, I think those make all my lifts go better uh, as that gets better and as everything. But very happy with the workout today. Hit uh, the PR on the snatch complex, and that's pretty darn close to my max anyway of 235 currently. Um, and then the uh, push presses went fine. They just were, I was just tired at that point. But um, got an easy day tomorrow, some incline bench, and uh, I think some cardio, I don't, or some sled pushing maybe, some random stuff. I don't know if I'll record the sled pushing, because it's hard to record um, stuff outside, especially when it's like sunset at this time when I would start them. But I don't know, maybe I'll get some of them recorded. They aren't really that like, exciting. I don't really put much weight on them. I just do them for the, the cardio aspect of them and to do something different. So that being said, I'll talk to you all in the next one. Have a great one. Peace.